Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another Clean With Me Marathon. These are always some of yours' very favorite videos that I share, and I have been getting so many requests for another one. I just shared one about a month and a half ago or so, but like I said, I have been getting so many requests, so I wanted to go ahead and share another one with you guys. So if you are new to my channel or you are unfamiliar with what the Clean With Me Marathons are, they are actually an idea that my husband came up with about two years ago, and they are basically where I will pull several of my recent cleaning videos, and I will compile them all into one super long, super motivating video so that you can just pop it up on your TV or your tablet or your phone and clean right along with me. And that way you're not having to worry about like hopping back and forth between different videos, having them turn off and just kind of having to search for another one. You can just turn this on, get into the groove and stay motivated the entire time. And honestly, the ones that I have compiled into this video is so full of so much different motivation, lots of cleaning, some decluttering, and also some decorating and homemaking and cooking motivation. So this one is just packed with all the things that you are needing right now. I hope you are having an amazing day today and if you are not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my future uploads but without further ado let's go ahead and get into it Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing some deep spring cleaning in my bedroom and also in our bathroom. But I am also going to be kind of doing like a redecorate in our bedroom and do kind of like a new like home refresh in here. I kind of want to kind of transition my decor from more of like the modern farmhouse or like farmhouse style to more of like a boho farmhouse I think it is just kind of more like earthy and I don't know I'm really kind of getting like drawn to this new style so I'm gonna kind of attempt that in here hopefully it will go well and then I'm also going to be addressing the window seat that if you've been here for a while you have been waiting patiently for Kyle to do this we ended up finding kind of something else to do so I'm going to share what that is a little bit later on but let's go ahead and get on into it but there's something cold in the way you are The things you said Had me going good but it left a scar You invite me and then you turn me down Get my hopes up and then you're gone I fall for everyone Okay, so the first thing I wanted to tackle in my bedroom was my bedding. I typically change out our sheets once a week and although it's a chore that I don't really enjoy doing, it is totally worth it for that moment when you climb into bed that night and get to feel those fresh clean sheets. It's definitely one of my favorite little pleasures in life and I feel like right now it's so good to focus on the little things that give us joy because there is so much that is out of our control and honestly human nature tends to lead us to focus on the negative sometimes so I would love to hear in the comments what is something small in your day or week that brings you a lot of joy. It's always the same story 
So once I had my bedding changed and our nightstands cleared off, I just started tidying up our floors and tackling laundry because let's be honest, there is always more laundry to do, but I would love to know do you have a laundry routine that you stick to most of the time or do you just kind of do it as the baskets fill up? I typically try to follow our laundry routine each week, but sometimes it's hard to kind of stay on top of putting the loads away every single day. So if you have any tips on that, I would love to hear them. And one quick thing that I wanted to mention, if you are new to my channel or you haven't seen how I hang up our clothes, you have to try doing it this way. It is such a game changer. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With a habit to the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff behind We can start all over In our Before I start decorating our bedroom, I wanted to make sure to do a quick tidy as well as some deep cleaning for spring. So here I am just wiping down our windowsills and baseboards and spot cleaning our doors and walls, just using a mixture of all-purpose spray and a microfiber cloth that I got from Grove Collaborative. And if you're unfamiliar with Grove, I will leave a link down below for them, but I love getting my cleaning products from them because everything is just shipped straight to my door, which could not be more convenient. And the link will give you lots of free cleaning goodies with your first order. As usual, this is a no judgment zone. I know this fan was so incredibly dirty and dusty, but my fan in my living room got cleaned not too long ago. I shared that in a previous video with you guys. And my bedroom fan was way past due for cleaning with no excuse other than just time slipping away, but I'm getting to it now and it felt so good. Let me know if there's something on your way past due list that you need to really tackle, but you just have not had the chance to yet. Okay, so for my windows, I am just going to be using my e-cloth general purpose cloth, and then this is the e-cloth window genie. You don't have to have this. You can definitely just use the glass and polishing cloth from them as well, but the window genie is something I got a few months back. I love it. It is like perfect for cleaning a bunch of windows all at once. to be 
so my camera battery just died and so I went through and I vacuumed everything. You can see all the vacuum lines. I vacuumed it with my Dyson, which if you've been here for a while, you know that I recently cleaned it out, like took it all apart, cleaned it out because a while back I got a new shark vacuum. It is a corded one and I have just felt like that one works so much better. It pulls up so much more out of our carpet. And I did kind of like a little test down in our basement. I vacuumed with our Dyson and then I re-vacuumed with our shark. This room is always our dirtiest room because all of our pets just hang out in here all the time. I can pretty much fill up a canister like every other day probably. And so I was like, this is the room that's going to be like the real good test. So now I am just starting to vacuum in here with my shark and I realized my camera was dead. So I've only vacuumed like this one little area and already I'm seeing like a good amount in the shark. So I feel like it's going to be pretty crazy to see how much the shark picks up versus my cordless Dyson. I'm gonna finish up re-vacuuming the room with this and I'll kind of see and I'll show you guys how it ends up turning out. Just finished vacuuming the room again for a second time after my Dyson and I've had this thought that this vacuum picked up so much better and this like completely proves it to me. It picked up like half a canister right after the Dyson plus it leaves amazing vacuum lines. So I am 100% sold. I was already sold on it but I just thought that would be kind of like an interesting comparison to show you guys since I do have the two vacuums. Honestly if you have carpet I feel like this vacuum is the way to go. If you only have hard floors then I don't know that it makes that big of a difference because I do feel like it doesn't make a huge difference out in like our wood like our hard floors or anything but if you do have a ton of carpet this one is definitely like what I would recommend and what I would get hands down. So if you've been here for a while, you remember that we used to have a few chairs in this little nook, which I moved upstairs into our guest bedroom back when I did our guest bedroom makeover recently. And I will link that right here if you missed that video. But once I took those out of our bedroom, I wanted Kyle to build me a window seat and that was totally the plan. But when I was walking through Marshall's, I ran across this bench and I fell in love with it. Just the style of it was perfect. And it was also really nice because I could just set it there and have the freedom to move it later on if I wanted to. Plus we have heater vents in the floor there which were posing a little bit of a problem when Kyle and I sat down to figure out the plans for the window seat so we may still end up doing a built-in window seat in the future but for now I just think this is a great option but you'll have to let me know what you think about it. Next I started setting up the new pillows on our bed and I had something planned in my mind and it totally didn't work out how I had envisioned it. Normally I just go with the flow on most things but I feel like with all of the craziness going on in the world right now I have just been a bit on edge and my mind just started making it into a way bigger deal than it was and I started thinking to myself, oh my gosh, now I can't go out and find the pillows that will work here and the room won't turn out like I want and the video I'm filming won't be complete and on and on and Kyle had gotten home at this point and he just came in and talked to me and kind of calmed my emotions. It totally wasn't about the pillows not working out but more about the situation that we are all in at the moment and just the added stress of it all. So I'm sharing this because I still want to keep my channel a calm space for y'all but I also want to say that if you are feeling stressed out or overwhelmed your emotions are a bit crazy it is all completely normal and you are not alone if you are needing a friend or some support I hope that you share in the comments and I would love as a community if we can just all come together and kind of be there for each other during this crazy time I love you guys so much and I am just so thankful to have this community during this time
feel like the pillows were totally a happy accident because I actually had ordered these pillow covers like around Christmas maybe or something. It was a while ago and I ordered one two pack and then it didn't show up for a long time and then I talked to Amazon they were like, oh, it got lost in the mail. And so I was like, oh, that's okay, I'll just order another set. So I ordered another set and then like the next day the original ones showed up and then I got the second set that I ordered. I ended up getting both sets and I was like, well, I guess I'll just keep them. I'm sure that I'll use them sometime. But I was planning to use them for our couch and I just never ended up liking them on there and I just didn't want to use them on there. And so I just kind of held out. I'm like, well, I have a lot of different makeovers coming up so I'll just keep on, to hold on to them. And I feel like they look perfect here. I really love the look of them. They're really, really simple, which is kind of the new like decor style that I'm going for in here. So especially with everything going on, I can't just like rush out to the store and go find something so I'm just kind of making do with what I have and so far I'm really loving it. I never understood a word they said Kept running in the woods alone instead I wanted to show you guys something that I did the other day. These jars they look like pottery, right? Like cute little pieces of pottery. These pieces I just thrifted from Goodwill and they are just like your basic run of the mill vases that you have like hundreds of every single time you walk into the thrift store. These two little ones were a dollar. You either probably have a lot of them sitting around your house or if you go to the thrift store, there's just tons of them. But all I did to make these is I just took like some white or off-white chalk paint and then I also took two different colors. I took like a brown and an orange and kind of created the color that I wanted. And then I just mixed it with some chalk paint and the chalk paint is what makes it nice and chalky. And it makes it really easy to put onto these jars and it kind of gives it like that faux pottery look. That is all I did and then I just sponge brushed them on. They did take about three layers each but I love how they turned out and I feel like they look really nice. If I would have bought these at the store like this, they would have cost me so much more money than I paid for them. Cause like I said, this is a dollar, a dollar, and three or four dollars and then the paints I just had on hand but this was just such a fun quick little DIY and I feel like now I want to paint everything and make it look like pottery. I'm guessing you could do this with a gray and make it look kind of like cement but I just thought this was a really fun DIY and something that will totally transform my decor that I already had or things that I could thrift into something that I actually love and want so I am so excited to share that with you guys and now let's get back to the decorating. Why don't you stay, stay, cause I can really use a friend Stay, please stay, cause my heart really needs a man Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Stay, stay here with me Once again, I am just sharing the reality of decorating and it is a lot of trial and error until you find just the right spot for everything. So do not get discouraged if you're decorating a new space and kind of struggling with it. It's just a process and just stick with it until you find something that makes your heart happy. So now that I have gotten this nook put together, it has easily become my favorite part of our new bedroom setup. I just feel like it is so cozy and also functional and it just makes me so happy to have this in our room now. Why don't you stay? I 
so I had to take a break from everything for dinner really quick. I'm not quite done in here. I think I'm gonna kind of move some of these things around, just kind of simplify this. I really, really want to get new lamps, but I couldn't find anything. And then now like we're kind of stuck at home. And so I just, I'm gonna wait and I'll have to do kind of like a few tweaks to the room. We are going to end this for today and I'll pick up tomorrow. We'll finish decorating in here and then I'll move on to the bathroom and start deep cleaning in there. So I'll see you guys soon. It is the next day and I'm going to be bringing Kyle in here. He's going to help me put up some pictures on the wall right there and then also hang that mirror. I have to double check, but I kind of want to say that I'm close to being done in here in the bedroom as far as decorating, but then we'll get to go in the bathroom and deep clean in there, which it really needs it. But I will kind of give you an overview of how the room is looking all all put together every time I walk in here like last night and this morning it just made me feel so happy and it's just like peaceful and I don't know I just it's making my heart happy so I really really love it but let's go ahead and get things hung up being weird I know you're not gonna use this thing oh this I'm going to nope. I'm definitely going to every oh, yeah. time I say I'm gonna use it I keep it in there people get another real you so weird just gonna use toothpaste or whatever. If you want to hung right, then yeah, you'll use toothpaste. I need to get my toothpaste. So here we are just hanging up my full length mirror and we are using monkey hooks which I like to use all around our house when I am not using command strips because they are able to go straight into drywall, you don't need any tools and then they're able to support a lot of weight without putting huge screw holes in the wall. But you'll have to let me know if you've seen my other room makeover videos and knew what we were talking about when I was talking about the toothpaste. It drives Kyle nuts every single time but he's always a good sport when he helps me with my projects. I wanted to let you all know I am going to be filming a spring home tour this week and sharing that video over on my vlog channel. If you are not already following me over there, it's just this crazy life vlog. I will always have that down in the description box below, but that is where I'm going to be sharing that home tour video. And in my house tour, I will be sharing where everything's from. But of course, if you have a question about something, just ask in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Kiss. You have to say I'm right. No. No, thank you. It didn't leave any paint off the wall. Okay, so I am all finished in this room and I love, love this space. I feel like it's just so cozy and 
I feel like with all the plants, especially the live big plant that we have right here, I feel like it is just so welcoming and so warm and I just love kind of bringing in some like those natural features into the room. Like I said before, I do want to change out the lamp. So if you guys have any ideas of where to find like a glass base lamp, just kind of like something really simple, I guess, let me know, either send me links or pictures or just let me know like what websites you're finding them on. I would love to know that. I'm not sure if I need something up there or not. So let me know what your thoughts, if you guys think I should add something to the top or if it should just be just like it is. I think either way it could be good. So just let me know your thoughts, but I love this. You guys will have to let me know what you think, but now we're gonna head on into the bathroom and get cleaning. You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk. You are the one that I just need to feel loving. You saved me from the broken house that I built. You took me after I got our countertops cleared off, I moved into the little toilet room and sprayed down our toilet all over with disinfectant spray and let that sit on the toilet for a few minutes just to let it work. And while I did that, I tackled some other areas in my bathroom. Okay, so I am going to quickly clean our jetted bathtub and this stuff I got on Amazon. I've been using it for probably about a year now or so, but it cleans it so well. I will do this every few months or so, but it's just called the Oyuk Jetted Bathtub Cleaner and I'll try to link it down in my Amazon favorites, but it is satisfying and disgusting. So let's clean it. So all you do with the jetted tub cleaner is fill up your tub with water and use about a quarter of the bottle and then once the tub is filled you will turn your jets on and let it run for several minutes. So while the tub was filling up I just used some end dust spray to wipe down the surround area of our bath. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be. Next, I went back to clean and wipe down our toilet. Now, usually I don't wear gloves when I clean our toilets. Maybe it's because I'm a boy mom and I have to wipe down our toilets almost daily. So I don't feel like they really have the chance to get super dirty. But when I'm cleaning the floor around the back of the toilet or the back area of the toilet itself, I definitely wear gloves. Let me know below. Do you wear gloves when you clean the toilet or do you go bare hands? One, two, three. Mm. Some say that love don't burn, but I've got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be. In love and 20 years old, we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I've got you stuck in my memory. Yesterday I told you I think that we made a mistake Cause you and I we lost our sight It's all about giving take to clean our vanities and mirrors, I am just using my e-cloths, which disinfect with just water. Their cloths actually trap 99% of bacteria inside the fibers of the cloth, and they are one of my very favorite things to clean with. Yeah. 
So it's kind of hard to see on camera. You can probably see it if you look really close, but there were lots of little bits that came out of the tub jets. I'm pretty sure these jets had never been cleaned by the previous owners, so I am still trying to get them totally cleaned out since moving in. But once I drain the water, I just used some CLR foaming bath spray to get all the gunk that attached to the side of the bath when I was cleaning the jets out. And it is just amazing to me how it cuts through all of it, but I am using a Dollar Tree broom. I've shared this in the past, but this is how I like to clean our tubs. It just makes it so easy to clean and it's also super affordable, so I am just using the broom to kind of scrub everything down and then rinse it out with water. Last, I just needed to wipe down the baseboards and cabinets and then vacuum and mop the floors. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some new tips as well as lots of cleaning motivation and ideas for decorating your own spaces. Thank you so much for watching and being here and be sure to subscribe if you are not already. I hope you have the best day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be tackling my kitchen and dining room and living area, but I am really going to be focusing on doing a lot of meal prep and food prep, sharing some delicious and healthy recipes with you guys. We have a ton that I plan to pack in today's video, so let's go ahead and get to it. So today I am starting out in my living room because I knew I could knock it out really quickly and then go ahead and move on to the kitchen. But today I've picked several songs that I used way back when I first started my channel a few years ago. So if you are new to my channel or new to YouTube, then they might be brand new to you. Or if you've been part of the family for a while, maybe it will kind of bring you back a little bit. But you'll have to let me know in the comments how long you've been watching these types of videos and also how you started watching them. I've shared my story several times in the past, but I found this community when I was coming out of postpartum depression with my youngest and that is ultimately what kind of made me decide to start my own channel two and a half years ago. I was just in a really dark place and it inspired me to get my life back in order and pull me out of postpartum depression so I know what a blessing this community can be. So no matter how you got here or why, I am so happy that you are. And if you haven't already subscribed, definitely click that button below and join the family. Take a long walk till we start to freeze here in small talk over the summer breeze out of safe songs finding hidden caves all the wet stones shaped by the ocean waves it's a night to stay up late things we have to do can wait we've got So if you've been with me for a while, you probably remember that last fall I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's and since then I have been kind of getting back on track and just working on meal prepping and exercising and just kind of getting my life back in order a little bit and trying to make a lot more healthy decisions. And since doing that, I have started to share more meal prep videos with you guys and just kind of try to inspire you in that way while I am kind of working on my own journey as well. So I will be sharing a full fridge clean out as well as reorganizing it and lots of super easy recipes along with a lot of food prep. So definitely stay tuned for that. But until then, let's get back to cleaning.
So once I got all of the counters cleared off and the dishes taken care of, I just started wiping down the counters so that I had a clean surface to start out with the meal prepping. And I am just using my e-cloth that cleans and disinfects with just water. But I wanted to share about these tulips that I got here on my counter. I have been getting a lot of questions about them from you guys recently, and so I wanted to share in case if you missed me talking about them in my recent spring decorate with me video. But they are live tulips, and I got them from Costco a while back, and we have been loving the brightness that they brought into our home. And I've just been really loving all the spring decor that I put up throughout our house not video. If you missed that one, I will link it up above for you guys, but I feel like spring is becoming my favorite time to decorate for. I might be changing my mind once fall rolls around because that's usually my favorite time to decorate, but for now, I am just loving all of the live plants and all of the super bright colors. You'll have to let me know if you guys decorate for spring and also what time of year is your favorite to decorate for. All right, so now that I have all the surfaces cleaned off and wiped down and the dishes going, I am going to start cleaning out my fridge. I actually just went to the grocery store earlier and I have a ton of produce that I need to prep out and I have a lot of new containers that I'm really excited to use. And so I just wanna make sure that I'm starting with like a clean slate in my fridge, make sure I don't have any bad food in there and make sure that I have room for all the new containers and all the food that I'm going to prep. So let's get to the fridge and then we'll get into the recipes and the meal prep. So let's go. All right, so this is what we are starting with and it is very full because like I said, I just went grocery shopping, so it is completely full, but I want to go through and just organize everything and prep everything out. And down here in this little part of the fridge as well, this is our freezer. This kind of changes from a freezer to a fridge, but we usually always use it as a fridge. If you guys have been with me for a while, you probably remember that I just reorganized my fridge like a few months back. I tried to do it with all Dollar Tree stuff and it worked for a while, but I ended up just having a lot of bins that I couldn't really see into and it, they weren't like airtight or anything. And so it ended up not working out for me. And I've said this a lot, but just because you organize something once doesn't mean it's done. It's probably going to have to be reorganized. So we are here already with this. I am super excited for the containers that I got. I'm really, really hoping, fingers crossed, that this time this organization system will really work for me for a really long time. So let's go ahead and start pulling everything out and get everything nice and clean. So here I'm just pulling everything out of the main area of our fridge because as I had mentioned, I did do a big fridge clean out recently and so I just didn't feel the need to pull everything out of the doors, but instead just kind of focus a little bit more on the main section. You better grow up like tambourine, bring a base, we might be weak. So to wipe everything down in my fridge, I am just using my e-cloths with water again. And I'm doing that just to make things nice and easy and convenient. And also because I didn't really want to use a lot of cleaning products around all of the food in our fridge.
emptied out my soul. You've heard it all before, honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Okay, so these are all of the different containers that I got, but all of them are airtight and I just got all of them off of Amazon. These ones right here are pretty large and they all have a handle. These ones are pretty large as well and they have a handle, but you can kind of see they have this little grate at the bottom that kind of keeps the fruit and veggies like not sitting in the moisture. And then these are really nice and compact, but just smaller. These are bigger as well, but they are like wider and shallower and they have that little grate as well. But all of them are clear so I can see exactly what we have and exactly how much. So the first thing that I do when I'm organizing a space is I start by placing my containers and just kind of seeing how everything will fit and then I can get kind of a better idea of my plan for the space and of course I can make changes as I go and just kind of like adjust things as needed but it's really nice to have an idea of it just kind of set up in front of you before you start or at least for me that's just how I have found it to be. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? Okay, so I think I kind of have like a rough idea of how I want this set up. I actually really like how I have the bottom set up right now. I have things kind of laid out in here. So here we are going to have like our like dinner meat and then in here we have cheese. I don't eat cheese, but the rest of the family does still eat some. And then we also have lunch meat in here. Up here I have my eggs. Here I have some condiments. This is where I have like the bulk of our stuff, which is going to be produce. I know these are for produce, but I want to try something out because I feel like they're so shallow and they're so deep. And when I put things in there, they go bad because I forget they're in there. There have been so many times where I'll buy more cucumbers. I don't think we have any more cucumbers. And then it turns out there was one rotting in the very back of the crispers. So I think that's why I'm going to be using these. They are in an airtight container, which will help them stay fresh longer. But then if I'm actually going to prep something out, that is what I'm going to be using the ones with these little slats at the bottom. And so like these ones are going to be perfect for like berries or something. This would be perfect for like carrots, especially because we are starting to juice again. And so it'll be perfect to like prep out a bunch of celery or prep out a bunch of carrots. They are going to be washed, but then it's like there's no excuse to not grab for something healthy or not make a juice really quick because all the work is done for. So I think this is going to work really well, but we'll just kind of have to see if it will stand the test of time. But I'm really excited. I have a lot of high hopes for this. Can't feel my body, you fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me, look at me deceiving, let you get the best of me, in bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go, I just can take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. This is a no go, I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. So this strainer, I get questions about it all the time, but it is from Ikea. They have a few different ones. They have one that is plastic and one that's metal, and I love the metal one. That's just the one I got, but I know several of you guys have asked about that every time I bring it out. So I wanted to just mention that to you guys. But here I am just de-stemming some of the kale. This is going to be pretty much going into juices. I can always use it in smoothies as well. For smoothies, I always just use frozen kale a lot of times, but for juicing, I will just use fresh kale. Alright, 
so I'm thinking I'm actually not going to wash the celery just because it's really quick to rinse it off like when I go to juice it. So I think in that way it might stay better longer because it's totally dry. So I think I'm just gonna put it in one of these containers, but it is all prepped out. It is like cut up. And so I might have to cut it a little bit smaller, but I'm just not gonna end up washing it and we'll see how it goes. So we'll see, but I'm kind of just like improvising as I go and seeing like what's gonna work best. So you'll have to let me know if you food prep or meal prep. I don't usually do a meal prep in the way of like portioning everything out into individual containers, but I do prep our produce almost every single week and I usually prep out one or two dishes a week to kind of fall back on for lunches and just help me stay on track throughout the week. But I really feel like a little prep like this goes a really long way and I hope that seeing me share this gives you ideas and inspiration to give it a try for yourself and see if it could help you. So as you can see, some of the items that I'm storing in the containers are chopped and washed and just completely ready to go, and some aren't. And the reason that I'm doing it this way is to keep certain items fresh longer by not getting them wet or cutting them, while others it doesn't really make much of a difference or I know that they'll be eaten within a day or two, but I do feel like keeping everything in containers will help me just kind of keep inventory and help me avoid food waste. So as summer is getting closer, you'll have to try freezing your grapes. I have shared this tip for years with you guys, but they are amazing this way and they end up tasting just like little popsicles. They are so, so good. And especially when you start taking your kids to parks or just going out and about, you will love having a perfectly chilled snack. Now with berries, once they're prepped out, they are eaten super, super quickly in our house. Like they are gone within one to two days. But if you don't eat berries as quickly, I would suggest not cutting and washing them all at once like this and just storing them in the fridge without prepping them out. But if your family eats them quickly like ours does, then by all means, go ahead and do the same way because I just always notice whenever I prep out our foods like this, our kids always go for the berries and just all of this fresh produce.
Okay, so I have everything put away in the fridge. I'm about to start meal prepping, but I wanted to kind of take you through and show you like how I have everything set up and what my plan is for making this continue to work for us. Okay, so starting in the bottom of our fridge, down in here, I have like some pasta, salsa. I also have all the extra carrots that I got for juicing mostly. I also have some butter. We just got this at Costco, which is why we have so much. In here, I have some ginger, a beet, and some cilantro. This is mostly going to be for juicing, and then this is just for a recipe. I have some cream cheese for the boys' bagels and cream cheese uh, a lot of the apples will be for juicing and then a lot of them like the red ones mostly will be for eating I always like to keep the apples down here so they are easy access the boys will just grab them rinse them off and they are good to go and then in this pull-out drawer these are just spinach containers a lot of these are going to be going into juices I have some carrots that I had from before and then hummus this is just pretty much like for the kids snack and then this is how the fridge is looking right now so off to the right we have our almond milk and rice milk and then I also have just like condiments up on top I have this actually huge thing of ranch that we got at Costco recently the boys love this for their salad this is going to be for a recipe this is something it's just Greek yogurt but it's plain Especially since I'm not eating dairy, I have been starting to get just like these single serve and we will use this for sour cream and that way it doesn't go bad but it tastes pretty much like sour cream. It's just like the plain unsweetened one. And then this Lazy Susan is pretty much just for like salsas, pepperoncinis, olives, pickles, all that kind of stuff. Here I just have a few English cucumbers. Back there I have a big thing of salsa here, are eggs obviously. And then in here, this is where I'm keeping like some meats that will be for dinners. And then here is lunch meat and cheese. And then this is what I've been working on obviously. So in here I have a bin of salad. This is just our leftovers right now. We have some bell peppers. Then I have some broccoli in here. These are not washed, but they are all cut up into florets. So they are good to go for dinners. And then right here I have some cucumbers. These are mostly going to be for juicing. Here is a bunch of the celery. These are not pre-washed, but they are already chopped up and ready to go. So I can just rinse them out and then put them in the juice. I also have some kale in here. Again, those are washed and ready for juice. Grapes, these will be either for snacking and or for juicing. Then I have some blackberries. These are just on sale. I usually don't have a bunch of berries like that. And then this is asparagus. And again, I will have to wash that, but it's all like kind of ready to go. And then right here, I have our carrots. These are not washed or anything, but I'm just going to wash them when I'm ready to juice them or rot wash them and cut them up for snacking. And here I have some strawberries. These are completely ready to go. So these are washed and cut up. And then I also have some little baby peppers in here. And these are just going to be mostly for snacking but they are washed and ready to go as well but I think this is going to be amazing because this way I just have like immediate inventory of what we have and what we need from the grocery store and a lot of our stuff is also in our pantry like beans and rice and things like that as well but I really feel like this is going to help us and encourage us to eat more produce we've been doing pretty good with it lately and also just making juicing easier I feel like anytime I start juicing the reason that we stop is because it's like oh, I don't want to pull out all of the things for it but this way it's like you just pull out containers and then put the containers back and they are good to go you might have to wash something up but it's pretty much already like chopped up it's already like ready to go oh do you see Micah she's sitting in the window but now we're gonna go ahead and prep out some things and cook a few things and get some meal prep and food prep going I guess we already did a lot of the food prep but I'm gonna share a few recipes with you guys ginger and lemon so my mom has the exact same juicer as this she was the one who recommended that I get this one because when I was where I was looking for juicers I was like not sure what to get 
she spent probably seriously like a year searching like looking into different ones and this is the one that she found was like the best and like the best thing for your buck and she's had it probably close to a year maybe a little over a year and so I ended up getting this exact same one that she had so instead of me like going through the instructions and trying to figure out how to work it I just facetimed her for a minute and had her kind of explain like what everything was for and how to put it together and all that stuff and she quickly gave me a demonstration with her juicer so now i think i'm all set i know how to use it it's just a totally different juicer from the one that i had before i'm gonna first make celery juice and put some into the jars and then once i'm done with that i'll see how many jars i have left and then i might make another juice i'll share all the recipes for today over on my website and i'll leave that link in the description box below but let's get juicing So I try to include our kids cooking with me in the kitchen because it teaches them so much. It also creates a lot of fun memories and also I found that it makes them more excited to try new things when they are included in the process of making it. these like apple carrot ginger lemon juices and then I also have two of the celery juice for tomorrow morning so that will be perfect I know I just barely used this but it already was awesome just to like pull it out put it back in good to go I'm trying to come down and get you real up high so next I am going to meal prep some chicken that we can have throughout the week. Half of it I'm going to make salsa chicken in my instant pot, but you can also make it in your slow cooker. And then the other half I am going to make Jamaican jerk chicken and show you like kind of a meal for that. Okay, here's your superhero juice. Mom, it's not. It is superhero juice. Mom. Okay, it's not superhero juice. It's Noah juice. It's no, it's Noah juice. Uh -huh. Hold it with two hands, please. You're about to spill it. Mmm, does that look taste like Grandma Linda's juice? No. No? It's just Noah juice? No. Okay. So it tastes like Noah's. Tastes like Noah's? Okay. Mm. All right, don't spill it, okay? Okay. Okay. So to make salsa chicken, it can be customized to you and could not be easier. All you're going to do is add your chicken breast to a slow cooker or an instant pot, followed by your favorite salsa. I just use about half a cup per chicken breast if they are good sized pieces of chicken. And then add in one tablespoon of taco seasoning and one tablespoon of fajita seasoning. But again, you can customize your seasonings to your liking. And then you will just cook it in an instant pot for 15 minutes or three hours on high in a slow cooker. And then once it's cooked, you just shred it and then you can have it with tacos, with salad, burrito bowls. There are so many options for this and it is so delicious. I would just recommend with this that you use a nice quality salsa because that really is how you're going to get most of the flavor in your chicken. So always use a salsa that you love.
The superhero juice is putting good guys in your body? No, it's not superhero oh, juice. Oh, the Noah juice. No. What's it called now? Mustang juice? Yeah. Oh. So you're drinking Mustang juice? Yeah. Nice. I love it. That's good. I'm glad you like it. Remember, you made that one all by yourself. Yep. It did so good. Now to cook the jerk chicken, you will cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces and add them into a hot pan with a small bit of oil. And while cooking, you will add about one tablespoon of Jamaican jerk seasoning. You can add more or less of this, but keep in mind that it is a little bit spicy if you're making this for kids or you don't like a lot of spice. And then while your chicken cooks, that's when you're going to make your yellow rice. I am just using a packet and following the instructions on there and cooking it in my rice cooker. And then once I have that going, I will start making the pineapple salsa. And I am not a fan of fruit salsas at all but this one is so amazing so I really urge that you try this one especially just the mix of the jerk chicken and the yellow rice and the salsa it is so good but to make the salsa you're just going to cut up your red onion your pineapple and cilantro and then mix it all in the bowl and again I will have the measurements and recipes for all the things that I'm sharing today over on my website which I will have linked down below <laughs> I like your hair, dude. Thanks. You like the juice? Super good, huh? Yeah. Now once all of that is done, your salsa chicken should be all finished as well and you'll just want to shred it up and store it in a container and this heats up really, really well throughout the week. You can eat it so many ways and so this is something that's great for meal prep because you just have kind of one item that you can eat so many ways so that you're not getting tired of it throughout the week. Okay, so this is the jerk chicken with the yellow rice and this pineapple salsa, it is so good. Honestly, each thing is good by itself, but when you put them together, they are so, so delicious. I do have to give you guys a quick little warning though. The jerk chicken is slightly spicy, so if you have kids or if your kids don't like spice, like hot things, I would either lay off the spice a little bit or maybe just make this one for you and your partner or yourself during the week because it is a touch spicy. Like I know my kids are probably not going to eat it, but it is so good and like all of it together, my mouth is watering. The 
The last recipe that I'm sharing today is my black bean and corn salsa. I don't know if it's technically a salsa or a dip or just a side dish. We kind of eat it all different ways, but this can really be eaten so many ways. You can eat it just by itself. You can use it as a salsa, anything. It is so good and easy to make. So all you're going to do is add your diced red onion, your drained and rinsed black beans, your diced tomatoes and corn into a bowl. Now I use frozen corn, but you can use whatever you have. And if you do use frozen corn, you don't have to defrost it. It will thaw out really quickly. And I feel like it's actually perfect because it kind of chills the dish that way. Then you'll just mix those ingredients together and set that aside. And then in a separate bowl, you're going to mix together dried parsley, minced garlic, sugar, chili powder, cumin, white vinegar, and oil. And I'm using avocado oil, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And then once you mix that together, you will combine it with the rest of your ingredients and you are completely done. And you can eat this right away, but it honestly tastes better the next few days when the flavors kind of come together a bit more. Finally, it was time to tidy up and get everything all put away. Now keep in mind, I do have three young boys that I needed to take breaks with and help them with things throughout the day. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with having to juggle it all, just know that you are not alone. Even if you don't always see the behind the scenes to these videos, I am definitely sharing in that struggle with you guys, but I just figured this video was long enough without including the 536 interruptions from my kids. So just keep with it and remember it will be worth it and you have got this.
So I hope that you enjoyed this video and all the cleaning and homemaking motivation that I packed into it for you guys. Let me know if you try any of my recipes I shared today and tag me over on Instagram or Facebook if you do as well. I hope you guys have the best day. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. A lot of things we can get rid of. The golf clubs. No. We can get rid of those for clubs. sure. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be tackling our garage. It's definitely a mess. We usually try to do this a few times a year. Sometimes we only get around to doing it once a year just because it is a bigger project. So Kyle is home. He is going to be tackling this with me. We've been kind of waiting for the weather to get nicer. And it's gorgeous outside <laughs> so that's not a problem and we also have the time right now i figured we would just take you guys along with us as we declutter and somewhat organize the space without further ado let's get cleaning So I think Kyle and I are kind of trying to cope with the plan. I think we're going to start by pulling out like all the big things like the lawnmower, the go-kart, the ladders, just all that big stuff out, right? And then- Yeah, and then just go from there. That's what makes sense to me. I feel like starting on these projects is always so hard. It's like the hardest part is just getting started of like knowing where to start, but I don't know, we'll make it work. Let's do it. So like I said, we just wanted to start out by pulling everything out of the garage and we just started sorting things as we were pulling things out. So we ended up putting things into three different piles, one for trash, one for getting rid of, and then other things that we would be keeping but we would need to reorganize in the space. But before we get too far into this video, I did want to mention that I am going to be sharing two huge giveaways to celebrate reaching 200,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I cannot tell you guys how incredibly grateful I am for this community and just for this journey that you guys have become a part of and I am so, so thankful for that. And as a way to show my appreciation for you guys and just another chance for me to give back to you guys, I am offering two major giveaways. So I will have all of the information on both of them down in the description box below. But I had asked you guys previously what kind of items you would like to see for a giveaway and the top two things were a vacuum, like the one that I am always raving about, my shark vacuum and also just a box of a lot of my favorite things. And so I am going to be doing both of those things as two different prizes. So two people will have a chance to win one of those prizes. So to enter to win the box of my favorite things, you will just enter here on YouTube. All you have to do is of course be subscribed to my YouTube channel because this is a subscriber giveaway. And then just go ahead and like this video and comment down below, letting me know either when you join the This Crazy Life family or what type of videos that I share are your favorites. And that's all you have to do to enter to win the box of goodies. And if 
you would like to enter to win the vacuum, then you can head on over to my website at thiscrazylifevlog.com. I will have a link down below for you guys and just input your email right on the main page and you will be entered to win. And if you are already subscribed to my website, then you are automatically entered to win that one. And you can of course enter for both giveaways. So definitely try your luck at both, but I will have all the information on those down below in the description box for you guys. Okay, so we got a lot cleared out, like almost this whole back area, but I wanted to show you guys this. So if you guys have seen my cleaning videos, you know a lot of times, especially like at night, I will just sweep our floors and I sweep it into like a little hole in the wall and it kind of like sucks it all in. And every time I show that, I get so many questions like, what is that, what is that? Because it's just something that people don't see a lot. And it is a central vacuum system. It basically sucks from that hole into a pipe that goes like through our walls and then out through this pipe and into this canister. And then we're just able to like unhook this canister part right here and empty it out like that. It does come with like this little handheld piece and the vacuum. When we first moved in, I tried using it and honestly, it didn't work very good. It's so bulky that it's just, like so much more of a hassle and so much more work than just pulling out my regular vacuum. But the sweeper one, I love that. I use it all the time. Anyway, that's all that is. Now we're gonna start probably doing that last, I think, cause that's like the biggest area. We're gonna deal with like all the kids toys up above our little um, deep freezer and maybe things on the stairs. <sighs> this garage has been a mess for a long time. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another cause that we can fly with He's a vagabond, he won't love you better I can watch you sinking down on the bottom ship So come to ten then again, Mississippi You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another cause that we can fly with the bass So now we have like basically the entire garage emptied out aside from this black hole. But what we've done is we just, like as we pulled everything out, we put things in different piles. So we have like a keep pile and then trash and then a donate pile. And that way like we don't have to sort it twice but we're pulling it out and sorting and going through it as we do that. But this is definitely the one 
that are probably both dreading yeah, the most. This is the, <laughs> this is the hard part. Yeah, it's like a lot of little things. This is basically Kyle's section. It was good until the basement started, and then when I started working on the basement, it just <laughs> went downhill. So it wasn't good before that, but it wasn't bad. It <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks. Just follow me. Okay. Don't throw stuff away until you talk to me. <laughs> Yes, is that the, I need a is, that, is it a what? So it goes like <laughs> <laughs> that one, like, like I think <laughs> that one. And it shoots into the floor. Is it that one? Okay, are all of these sockets sets? No, not all of them. Some of them are different types of socket sets. They all look the same. These two are the same. That one's a socket wrench set. That one's a socket wrench no, set. No, no, no. Here, let me show you. I'll give you a little education to why. Look, these are not, these are sockets, yes, but these are like different size star sockets that you use a lot in automotive. And hey, what about all these? Look, these aren't even used. socket set, okay? These are deep set sockets that you need for several different things. Those look like regular sockets. Well, they're not. This is just the whole set, okay? So I'm not gonna get rid of that. This is a large set. That looks the same as these. <laughs> but look at the size difference. These are way bigger. I bet you could get rid of this one and you would have all the ones you need in there. I bet I could. Here's the thing. <laughs> they're staying, I don't know what to tell you. Whatever. <laughs> Well, that's a definite keep. Yep. Seriously? Yes. I don't know, it's so hard to understand. Stud finder. Oh, Magnet stud finder. You go like this. Oh, I know. <gasps> There's a spider there! Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Your camera's so close to it! My gosh! He's alive! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that really scared me. That was a little overreaction, don't you? Think? I feel like I've been like extra scared of scared of spiders lately. I don't know why. I was probably scared from you screaming. <laughs> okay. It's like me, it was like, what's going on? <sighs> I think we are going to put the shelves back there just so that we can kind of like go between the cars and get to like all of his tools and everything. And I think we have like a little go-kart and I think we're gonna put that right there. It will block the back door, but honestly, we never have ever used the back door. First, we're going to start pulling everything out of the garage and then we will sweep and then move the shelves and start loading things up.
So we ended up being so, so happy that we moved these shelves over here to another spot of the garage. And this was one of the reasons of why we wanted to clear everything out just so that we could go through it and kind of make sure that we were organizing the space in the way that makes the most sense. And I think that what had happened before is we had just organized the garage like right when we first moved into our house about two years ago or so. And we never really reorganized it since then. We've just kind of tidied the space up in the past, but we have not done a full on clean like this where we are pulling every single item out and completely reorganizing it and it just makes such a big difference to do this to your spaces sometimes because I feel like then you are able to really kind of change things up and just reevaluate every inch of the space and see where things are going to work the best for you and how you can utilize your space the best now. We had actually gotten these black shelves way early on in our marriage back when we had lived in Georgia and they have just come with us to every single house we've owned ever since then. But to organize these shelves, I am just using some extra Dollar Tree bins that I had had from another project that I've used in the house. They are maybe not the most beautiful bins, but they are all matching and they also just do the job really well out here. And so it keeps things nice and contained and keeps things nice and organized in the space. And they also didn't cost us anything and we just already had them on hand. So I would definitely recommend shopping your house first before you go out to get things, especially during this time, but all the time as well. It's just always really smart to shop your house and a lot of the time you end up having items that will work perfectly in your home. So here we are just going to be hanging the ladders on the walls. We've actually had these hooks for probably, I don't know, eight or nine months. We've just been waiting to do this big clean out. And so we were kind of waiting to pull everything out and do exactly what we we're doing today. And so we just had not had the chance to put them on the wall yet. But we had just gotten these hooks either from Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm not exactly sure at this moment, but they were really affordable. They come in all different shapes and sizes. You just screw them right into the studs on your wall, as you were seeing here. And they just make so much great use out of vertical space. Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear. You play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the picture, son. Put your rose colored glasses on. Yeah, put your rose colored glasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good life. So we are finally done with the garage. It feels like a whole new space. It's just like you can breathe in here. Everything pretty much has a space. We actually found some hooks that I forgot we had gotten a long time ago when we were planning on doing this. I think like last fall, we didn't get around to it. Um, and then I had a lot of like the little bins. So we won't have to do as much 
more to this even once we're able to go to the store and everything but we do have a shed out back and so between that we were able to move a few things back there we got rid of a ton of things that we just never used and i know one thing that we want to do is get some more hooks and um i think we're gonna put like some of our bikes up there just so that we can get them off the ground right now they're in the shed and the boys we just usually have like on our little side driveway because they use them like every single day everything else has a space so i'll give you guys i'll show you guys a few pans and show you exactly how everything is but i hope you guys enjoyed watching it was feels so good to get it done it was something that kyle and i had both been dreading for a while but it was definitely something that needed to get done and it just feels like a weight is lifted to have this marked off our list So this is the final product of the garage and how everything turned out. Now there are a few things that we will want to go back through and do once we are able to go to the stores and just purchase certain items. But for now, this is what we had on hand and this is how everything turned out and we could not be happier with it. It just feels like a whole new space and every time we walk out into the garage now, it doesn't feel stressful and overwhelming it just feels like a space that we don't mind being in now but i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and it gave you the motivation to tackle your own to-do list and places that you are wanting to tackle in your own home do not forget to enter to win those giveaways that i have going on like i said i will have all the information down in the description box below for you guys and also make sure that you subscribe down below if you are not already i would love to have you join our family i hope you have the most amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye guys Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing a whole house clean with me. Honestly, the last few days we have had a ton of just good family time, which is amazing. But because of that, we have kind of let the house go. And with all of us being home all the time, it's just, it needs a little TLC. So I figured I would take you guys along with me. I have a ton to get done. I'm going to start down in the basement and just kind of work our way up through the house. There are also a few other things that I want to take care of during this time. Like we did have a leak in our laundry room and so I want to kind of like spruce that up. I'm going to see if I have any extra paint to kind of like repaint our shelf because the water damaged the look of it, I guess. And so I just want to kind of see if I can kind of spruce that up in there a little bit and then a few other things along the way. But I figured I would take you guys along with me and share all the cleaning motivation. So before I head downstairs, it's like 60 degrees or something outside today. So I'm actually going to open up all the windows on the main floor and then we will head downstairs and start cleaning it down there. And then I'll move back up here and get to cleaning. <laughs> I have so much to do. I will do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all I know I'm not innocent You deserve a better man But let me just hold your hand once more Ooh, 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 I wanna take you out Ooh, 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 show you what I'm all about Ooh, 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 make up for what we lost Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my So before we get too far into the video, I did want to mention that I recently shared a garage clean, declutter, and organize video where Kyle and I just tackled our entire garage and kind of transformed it into 
a nice and organized space versus the complete disaster that it was before. And in that video, I also shared my 200,000 subscriber giveaway. I am so, so excited about that one. There are two different prizes that you have the chance to win. One is a vacuum, and then one is a box of about $250 worth of goodies. And all the details on how to enter that giveaway is over on that video. So I will link that video down in the description box for you guys, as well as up in the iCards right here. And then also down in the pinned comment so you guys won't miss it. But definitely make sure that you get entered to win because like I said, there are a few different prizes and they are both incredible. Incredible ones, so you do not want to miss out on that. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key so here I was just kind of tidying up the boys' rooms. There wasn't too much to do in their bedrooms because they usually tidy them up in the evenings, but I did need to put a new sheet on each of their beds, and I wanted to give it a really quick tidy just so that I could go through and vacuum the entire floor. Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. So I just got everything cleaned up down here. Now I'm going to go through and actually vacuum everything. I feel like it takes kind of a long time to vacuum everything down here just because it's all carpet. But once we are done with that, we're gonna move upstairs, but if you guys have any ideas for how to decorate down here, I was hoping to be going to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and things like that, but we're all obviously stuck at home right now. We're just not going out for that stuff. I've been kind of trying to find some things online and I've just, I don't know, I feel like I've just been kind of at a loss. I'm also going to be kind of working on the boys' room. I know I've been saying that forever, but when I've gone to like look online for things, I feel like I'm just, a little bit lost so if you guys have like any inspiration or any ideas on like boys room makeovers or anything like that especially over on instagram message me little links or message me pictures whatever i have just been struggling with like figuring out this basement and because it is livable down here we just have not really stayed focused on getting things done in the basement so Anyway, it is something that's on my list, but if you guys have any ideas, please leave them down in the comments or comment me, message me a picture or something over on Instagram. I would appreciate that so much. But yeah, now we're going to go ahead and get to vacuuming this place.
kind of simple, kind of wishful about things. And you're kind of simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't wanna come back cause you'd rather stay out with another. Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously. Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories. So I'm always getting asked about different decor pieces or different furniture items and just like where everything is from and I'm so happy to answer that for you guys but I wanted to let you know that I do have a new spot where you guys can get all that information and all of those links and that is on the like to know it website or app. All you have to do is just follow me on the app. You can just search this crazy life and it will pop up right on there or I will also have it linked on my website at thiscrazylifeblog.com and then I'll also have my like to know it page linked down in the description box for you guys so that you can just find it really easily. But if you are interested in any of the items that you see in my home, most of those things are either linked on my Amazon favorites or on my like to know it account. So I just wanted to take a quick minute and let you guys know about that. But here I am just going ahead and tackling all of the laundry that I have fallen so far behind on. So you'll have to let me know if you feel like you've been keeping up with housework a little bit better or worse during this whole stay at home quarantine thing. I feel like some days I am doing so good and our house is just extra clean because I have extra time and then other days because I am really busy with YouTube and homeschooling the kids and being a mom and just life stuff. I just totally fall behind and our house definitely suffers. Like right here you are definitely seeing our house struggling a little bit but yeah I feel like most of the time it just kind of depends on the day and it's definitely not been like overall I'm doing better or worse it just is either like one extreme or the other there is just not a lot of in between right now I feel I just finished up tidying up my bedroom and vacuuming the floors and I'm quickly going to just tidy up our bathroom. I'm not going to do like a deep clean or anything, but just kind of tidy everything up because I have a lot more work to do. So then I'm going to head out into the living room and I forgot I do have more laundry, of course, sitting on my couch waiting for me. So once I get done in here, I'll head out and do that. And also I have something excited to show you guys. One of my new plants came and I'm excited to show you guys what it is. I've been waiting for this plant for the last few weeks. I ordered it off of Amazon, but it's been one that I've been wanting for a long time and Kyle finally said yes. So I'm gonna show you guys what that one is as soon as we head out there.
Okay, so this is an area that I kind of wanted to tackle a little bit. We have a thousand hangers because I pretty much hang up all of mine and Kyle's tops and my leggings. This right here is where we keep cat litter. I got this off of Wayfair, I believe. I'll try to link this um, in my Like to Know It account. And then I have their little pad. This actually works pretty well too. I wanna kinda tidy this up. Honestly, I don't use most of these things regularly. I also just wanna wipe this down. I don't actually have a paintbrush, but I want to soon go back through and repaint this because as you can see, like all the water damage kinda got to that. I just feel like this just needs a little bit of a spruce up. So I'm gonna quickly do that and then we'll go back in the living room and start cleaning. So these, I am actually going to be linking these in my Amazon favorites. They work amazing if you have kind of like a funk in your washing machine. I think I showed them before. But if you have like a funk in your washing machine, just run a load with like a few of these in there and it will make it a world of difference. It will smell so much better. Just super random, but I'm pulling them up so I figured I would tell you about them. Also, while I'm right here, these Molly sets are something that I use all the time in all of our whites and they come out so much whiter than they ever got like with regular bleach or anything. So these are another thing. I think they might be on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure, but I do get them off of the Grove Collaborative site, which I will also leave the link for down below in the description box. So another thing that I love in here. I feel like this will just be so much nicer having a laundry basket that I do use all the time like right here easy and convenient versus having it up high like on our shelf. Okay, so this is obviously super disgusting. There is definitely a lot of dust on here because it's not something that I regularly come in here to think about cleaning, but a lot of this is from, we had like a leak up here. It happened once and then we haven't been able to figure out like what it was. We even had a plumber come in and look at it. He could never figure out what it was. We haven't had it happen since. So now we are just going to have to like repaint this shelf. Anyway, I'm gonna wipe that down, clean that up, and then another day I'll have to go back through and actually repaint it. But like I said, I couldn't find a paintbrush and I was looking earlier, so gotta do what you gotta do.
So to clean our TV and just kind of wipe it down, I'm just using the E-Cloth general purpose cloth followed by the glassing polishing cloth in just water and it will make it streak free and look perfect. Okay, I seriously wish you guys could see in person. I've tried to like show that like it won't even pick up just because of all the glare, but it makes it like there's zero streaks. There's no little fibers left from the cloths on the TV. So it's just like the perfect finish. It looks amazing. I just, I'm always raving about these things. They're incredible. If you've not tried them out, go try them out. They're awesome. Have the living room all cleaned up but before we head into the kitchen and the dining room which is a mess I'm gonna bring you into Kyle's office which is also a mess and show you my new plant I'm so excited actually there's another one that you guys probably haven't seen I think I shared it over on Instagram but this one is so so pretty I love this one too I want to say that one's called a bird's bird of paradise this one is an avocado tree I am so excited I have been wanting one for so long. This is going to go in Kyle's office, I think, unless if I can figure out a place to put it in the main living area, that would be like my favorite spot, but I'm not really sure. So if you guys have any ideas of like where to put the avocado tree, let me know. It can go inside just as easily, if not easier than outside, supposedly, but yeah. It's my first avocado tree. I can't wait. It said it should start getting fruit within the next I think one year so fingers crossed it does not look like it is tough enough to support an avocado so we shall see <sighs> enough procrastinating time to tackle the kitchen it's a wreck This is how the quarantine has been affecting us. Our table still has Easter stuff, and I'm filming this on a Saturday, so it's like almost a week past Easter. If you're feeling like the quarantine is getting to you, do not worry, you are not alone in this. Clearly, the quarantine has affected us as well. So on this day, I had so many dishes. I don't really even know why we had so many extra dishes because usually I am able to go all day long and not have to run our dishwasher until the evening. But on this day, I just happen to have so many extra dishes from earlier in the day, I guess, that I had to actually run the dishwasher in the middle of the day. But that's usually something that I like to do in my nighttime cleaning routine which I've shared with you guys a lot when I share my after dark videos, but maybe it's just because we are all home all the time 
And so I'm just cooking like every single meal for every single person at home and maybe that's why, but I feel like we've just been going through our dishes a lot more quickly lately. But I also wanted to mention that there will be a video coming out. I think it's going to be later on this week. And I actually went through and did another declutter on my kitchen. If, if you saw my sister's kitchen makeover recently, you know that I had kind of talked about how she had decluttered a bunch of things and then she decluttered even more. And it really just inspired me to go through my kitchen once again. And this time I got rid of even more things. So that video will be coming out later this week, I believe. And also in that video, I'm going to be sharing some really easy recipes. So definitely one to keep your eyes out for. Okay, so if you have been here for a while, you probably remember that our barstool chairs used to be all brown. I got them used and they were just really, really roughed up. Like the finish on them wasn't great. There were a lot of scratches, a lot of like deep dents in them. And so I ended up painting them white and then leaving the seats of them brown. Once I painted them white, then I actually went through and kind of sanded them and kind of roughed them up myself. Just so they looked a little bit more rustic and I'm going to show you exactly why I made them look rustic from the start because now they've gotten a lot of wear on them and they look like they're just meant to be that way. So this right here is probably like a good example of what I did. I kind of like roughed them up here and there. And then this all right here is a good example of what I did not do. And this is just like the kids and just life. But now it just, it doesn't look bad. It just looks like they're meant to be that way. And I also ended up just leaving the little scratches in the seat because I feel like it kind of goes with the whole look of it. If you have little kids, I would definitely recommend looking into like the rustic style decor because it holds up very well or it looks like it holds up very well so anyway there is my positive spin on rustic furniture into Kyle's office a lot of this stuff had just kind of been sitting in our car from back when I did my sister's makeovers so I'm going to kind of be going through things some things some things I'm going to be holding on to until I can return them and then other things I'm going to hold on to um, probably up in my office closet for future makeovers that I have planned in store and then everything else just needs to be tidied up in here because it's a wreck <laughs>
also vacuuming the whole house is not something that I do super, super often. Probably just once a week I'll go through and vacuum the entire house, but it does take a little bit of time. So usually I tend to focus on the more troublesome areas or the ones that just kind of get a little bit more use, like our main living area, our kitchen and our living room, and then also in our bedroom. But it does feel so good to have everything cleaned all at once. And especially when I go through afterwards and mop, it just feels so good to have everything like completely clean from top to bottom. And even though I really did not want to mop on this day because you guys know I am not a fan of mopping, I am using my e-cloth spray mop and it does make it so much easier. I always recommend this mop to you guys. It just makes it so nice and convenient even if mopping is one of your least favorite chores like mine. Like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. house looks incredible right now like so clean so I'm gonna go you know tell my family don't touch anything <laughs> so it can stay this way for at least five minutes and I know I always get comments about like why everyone doesn't help me at home when we're just us like everyone pitches in all the time but honestly when I'm filming it's just a lot easier most days to just do it myself because I'm constantly having to like move the camera around, making sure the kids don't like bump the camera, knock it down, anything like that. And so a lot of times like when I'm filming, I will just do it myself just because it's a lot easier. But on the day to day, you know, the other six days a week that I don't film, I do have a lot of help. So just to put your mind at ease, cause I know some of you guys are like wondering that. We actually are going to pause for a minute and get dinner, but then, I'm going to be headed upstairs. I need to clean the bathroom. And then I also want to just quickly tidy our guest room and then quickly do a tidy in my office. And I'm probably going to make sure that our Roomba is plugged in so that I can have him finish up all the vacuuming because I'm tired. So in the bathroom, I just needed to do a quick tidy and of course clean the toilet because I am a mom of boys and also clean the mirror because my kids are really little and I feel like it takes no time at all to get the mirror completely covered in toothpaste and splatters. I don't know when they're gonna grow out of this phase, but it's definitely something that has become a regular thing in our house. Our boys bathroom mirror just always looks so filthy like within the same day sometimes that I clean it. But as annoying as it might be, I'm trying to keep in mind that there will be a time when our boys are out of the house and I'll probably miss those little toothpaste splatters all over the mirror. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get it. So I got everything cleaned up in here and it's just looking nice, smelling good and fresh And now on to the last two rooms Never thought I would
So once I was all finished cleaning, as you can see, it was dark out. It took me so long this day, but it felt so good. I feel like our house has stayed a lot cleaner after the whole house was cleaned all at once. And then to finish vacuuming upstairs, I just turned our Roomba on and had it go to town for me. I love vacuum lines, and honestly, my favorite ones are the ones that I didn't even have to make. So I just made it really nice to have the Roomba do the work for me. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it gave you tons and tons of cleaning motivation. Let me know if you have a suggestion for next week's video. I have not filled my calendar out for that week so if you guys do have a suggestion I would love to hear it down below and also don't forget to go check out my recent garage videos so that you can make sure that you are entered to win my giveaways I hope you have the most amazing day do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one bye guys